Is your Dell making too much noise all the time? Hey everyone, Chris from Computer Stuff here. Now a lot of you know that I am a pretty big fan of Dell computers. They tend to be the closest uh, in competition to some of the Apple products like the XPS series and the MacBook Pros, the MacBook Airs, a little Inspiron 13s, these kinds of things. They tend to kind of go hand in hand very well. Dell innovates very well. They make nice looking computers, functioning computers. Their customer service is pretty decent most of the time as well, although I'm sure customer experiences may vary. But nevertheless, I like Dells, with the exception of a couple of small caveats I'm gonna throw y'all's way. Over the last few months, we noticed a trend in people commenting on the Dell videos, discussing the high fan noise and the uh, laptops basically just getting kind of a little hot when you touch them. Now, uh, it tends to be that like, we're talking like 90% of the time that if you update your Dell BIOS and your drivers, because um, most manufacturers, when they ship out a laptop, they ship out old system images with outdated drivers. If you update the drivers and the BIOS, it tends to be that you'll, uh, that will lower the fan speed, sort of optimize the cooling, the processing, all that stuff, and just make the laptop run all around a little bit better with less problems. Now, um, there is a rare percentage of people though, however, that are experiencing high fan noise and hot laptops due to Dell not applying enough thermal paste. Now, what is thermal paste, you ask? Two kind of main components on a computer are the CPU and the GPU, which is the graphics processing unit, CPU being the central processing unit. Anyway, both of these things sitting on the motherboard, there is a heat sink that covers uh, both of those because they tend to get pretty hot and in between the heat sink and the CPU is this stuff called thermal paste. It's basically a, um, well, it's a paste that, that allows better contact between the heat sink and the CPU, thus dissip dissipating the heat better, thus making your computer run run better. Now we noticed a few Dell laptops that have come in and, and for, uh, what prompted this video was we had a client bring in a brand new Dell Inspiron, Inspiron 13 uh, where we took the heatsink off and found that Dell very sloppily applied the heatsink comp or the the, uh, the uh, thermal compound on the processor and the graphics card. Now, normally, if this was sort of a one-off situation, we would obviously wouldn't be making a video about it. But we we think that this is maybe happening happening a little more frequently than it should. And as a result, we thought that we would make a video out there to sort of bring attention to this matter. So um, basically, if you buy a Dell computer and you've already updated the BIOS and the drivers, but the fan is still all ramped up and the computer is running hot and slow, it might mean that unfortunately you are affected by Dell's um, carelessness in not applying enough thermal compound. Uh, is this an easy solution to fix for yourself as the end user? And the answer is probably not. Most people are not going to want to pop the laptop, um, the bottom of the laptop off on their brand new machine uh, or crack it, really any computer open that they just got. Uh, so you might want to bring it into a computer shop or for that matter, bring it back to the store that you bought it from and then just get, get a replacement. But once we applied on this particular Inspiron 13, uh, once we applied, the thermal paste on the CPU and the GPU, the thing was running literally better than brand new. The, the temperatures were perfect, quiet, not hot at all. It was absolutely fantastic. So uh, again, this is just, this doesn't seem to be a very common, like a hugely common problem, but common enough for us to talk about it. Anyway, uh, we still like Dell computers a lot, still highly recommend them. This is a little small issue. And by the way, actually Apple had a history of this back with the older MacBook Pros from like probably about 10 years ago now, where they were putting too much thermal paste on their on their processors and GPUs and um, it was also causing problems. So I, obviously too much of a good thing is a bad thing as well. Dell, yeah, come on, come on guys. Get, get, your, get your stuff together. If you guys have any questions uh, or comments regarding Dells that are overheating, please feel free to ask us or reach out to us in the comments section. Please like and subscribe and we'll be back with another video soon.